Rusty Humphreys. This is the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion. We're going to get started in about 15 seconds. So, what do you do? You have to get involved. It's time for you to go and uh, type. Get some thumbs up, some hearts, some shares. But most importantly, I want to know who you are and where you are a deplorable from. So, do me a favor. Check in right now. And we'll get this show started. I want to see who's there. Luke is there. Leaf is there. Ray is there. It is kind of a crazy day today. And uh, a lot of things are happening in my home state of Arizona. And I'm going to tell you about that right now. First of all, Linda's checking in. Uh, Rob is there from Kentucky. Uh, Leaf is a Missouri deplorable. Uh, Randy's checking in. Dave is deplorable from Illinois. Hey, Dave. Sheila's there. Hi, Sheila. Linda is there. Susan is there. Camp Verde, Arizona. That's where David is. Otis is in Illinois. Welcome, Otis. Uh, David Doris is in Texarkana, Arkansas. Lakeisha, uh, Oklahoma. Charleston, South Carolina in the house. That's where Matthew is. First of all, I want to thank you for being here, watching the program. The show is being brought to you uh, and powered by the nice folks at Right Wing News. You can also watch us right there at Liberty One TV. Liberty One TV, find them on Roku and soon to be on Apple TV and online of Facebook, uh, LibertyOneTV.com. Mel is there from Everett, Washington. Chris is from Newport, Rhode Island. Anne is the big deplorable from South Texas. Michelle's there. Bill is in Pomona. Tamara is in Florida saying, howdy, everybody. Chris is in Sholo, Arizona. Samuel is in Nebraska, but stationed in California. John's in Washington. Will is there in Texas. Joanne in Florida. All right, let's take a look at what's going on uh, today. First of all, uh, Kanye in the news. We'll get to that in just a second. Um, in my home state of Arizona, uh, the commies have taken over. Um, I was at Costco today. Had to go pick some stuff up. And while I was at Costco, I heard one of the cashiers say to another cashier, we have just been announced the uh, teachers are going to be out another day. At this point, we were told that they were probably going to be back on Wednesday, tomorrow. Now, I didn't believe it. By the way, a happy commie day today, May 1st. That's a communist holiday. And the communists here in Arizona are in full force. You can see uh, they're just having a good old time. Their slogan is hashtag red for Ed. I still don't know what that means. I understand if they were saying, we're going to put you in the red for Ed. We're going to destroy Arizona and put the whole state in the red for Ed. Everybody goes in the red for Ed. I get that. But um, what is happening is, is that these teachers have walked out with very little uh, warning. And we're finding out more and more that this is a political operation being run by a communist Marxist teacher who's been teaching for about two years and then also a guy a, com, a Democrat let's just be honest though it's a commie running for state governor but let's take a look at some of the things that uh, were happening by the way these are the music teachers that are singing and if these are the music teachers um, yeah they probably shouldn't be teaching the high school or they shouldn't be teaching because they're not very good although they do say uh, if you can't do teach and these guys are proving it if you ask me This is what the communists look like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what the communists look like. We see that there's a wrong to be 
Oh, they're good, huh? Too. They're talented. We know that we are stronger when united free. We exercise our right to assemble for. That's when the proud and mighty start to tremble. Just in case you're wondering. Just in case you're wondering. Yeah. Just in case you're wondering, are we a bunch of commies? Yes, we are commies. Okay. No, they don't know what they're doing, Linda. That's the problem. And when you take a look at, and by the way, when I was at uh, at Costco, and uh, the cashier said, "Oh yeah, we're you know we got to watch the kids again tomorrow," I said, "Oh, putting us all in the red for Ed, huh?" And you should have saw the looks of disgust. Um, it is, we are now in thought police. If you aren't fully in, in, in bed with the communists and the socialists, you are to be shunned. And that goes for this teacher's movement too. This is nasty. It's nasty out there. And boy, the teacher, you watch these people, they got the, these red t-shirts on. Oh, are they smug? They are smug and better than you and me. I'll tell you that. Hal's in Tucson hating every minute of it. Jim's clapping. This is this is what democracy. This is what democracy looked like. Okay. Uh, one of the thing now. One of the things that they're very angry about in Arizona. They won't talk about it, but this is a fact: is that Arizona is at the forefront of school choice. We have the public schools, we have charter schools, we have a number of online schools, and that's going to be the first to go if these commies take over. See, my daughter, my high school daughter, has been brainwashed by her teachers. And they've told her how much money they make and they can't survive and that they're having all these problems. And they forget to mention, oh yeah, you're going to a charter school, my dear. This is one of the first things going to shut down. But they don't talk about that uh here is more oh this is a good one fed up with the red that's on a truck parents are actually working while the uh i I like this other parents are working while hashtag red for ed are partying it up they're fed up yep this is the guy by the way the arizona elementary teacher leading the strike and Great column on Breitbart, but I want to share it with you because it is so good. The leader of the Arizona teacher strike uh, has urged his colleagues on Twitter to teach political activism to his students and to discuss with them gun control, white supremacy, and anti-capitalism. Uh-huh. Interesting. So, uh, let's see here. This is why we fight. Our students deserve better. Carvelis, who is heading up the teacher's movement, is a student of critical pedagogy. I've never heard of it. A teaching approach inspired by the Frankfurt School or critical theory and other radical philosophies that aim to develop Marxism. He recommended this book, Whiteness, Neoliberalism, and Resistance in Education. This one is a must read for any teacher, but especially the critical pedagogues. One of the best contributions I've come across. He teaches music, specializing in hip hop at the Trey Rio Service Academy in Tolson, Arizona. His curriculum states he served as the campaign manager to elect Democrat Kathy Hoffman for Arizona Superintendent of Public Instruction and was also a volunteer for the Bernie Sanders presidential campaign. Now, He still, from what I understand, is working to help get this Democrat commie woman elected uh, in as uh, the the superintendent. Again, it's more and more where the Democrats do everything they can to get their liberal buddies elected so then they get paid off. Linda checking in from Las Vegas. Michael says, is this one of the reasons that Obama was in Cuba? Ken says, gun control is important for a quick, accurate follow-up shot. They need to be good Marxists to hit the target. Okay. 
Tim says it's not how much you make, but what you do with what you make. Right. Here's another thing that the uh, the brain surgeon teacher is uh, wanting other teachers to teach and thinks that this is what your, your children should learn. Things more educators should discuss, especially if they work with young white men in the classroom. So he's a racist. Uh, it should be gender, feminism, and me too, race, gun violence. Teaching is political, and silence is complicity. Dun, 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 dun. I would really like to hear this guy's. Where is he, where is he again? This, this is the guy here. I really want to hear his hip hop. He's a hip hop teacher. We're teaching hip hop in schools. That idiot has a job teaching hip hop and he's complaining. He doesn't make enough money. He should be thanking the good Lord Jesus every single day that he gets a nickel for teaching hip hop in a public school. Let's see here. Michael says, stop spending all the big money on housing, food stamps, medical for all these illegals, pay these teachers better. Well, they want illegals too. They want it all, baby. Oh, I got Kara says that uh, a contributor to the New York Times wished a happy birthday to Karl Marx today. That is what commies look like. This is what the commies look like. Let's see. Do I have any other video on this idiot? I had a video and it disappeared. I can't find it now. Where he was on and talking about how, gosh, I... Golly jeepers, I'm just a, a fresh out of college kid. I, I got this swell job, but we're just not getting paid enough. And, well, don't you work for uh, this woman that wants to be superintendent of schools? Well, yeah, but that doesn't count. Okay, well, what about the uh, guy who's running for governor, who's a Democrat, came in a school bus, rapped with his name? Is that a problem? Well, uh, it was bad for optics, but he's a pretty swell fella. Do you have a, what about Governor uh, Douchey, the Republican who started uh, Cold Stone Creamery? He's trying to get you 20, a raise, 20% by 2020. That's not good enough. We want more. Well, hell, we all want more, dumbass. Yeah, Perry's absolutely right, by the way. We aren't a democracy. We are a representative republic. Actually, we're a constitutional republic. Big difference. But, of course, that fact's not taught in today's public indoctrinational centers that are called public schools. Yeah. Gloria says, when our ex-president tells us there are 52 states, and to I had to tell a lady tell me Minnesota was a city. Huh. Do you think maybe education might be a problem? Uh, yeah. Victor says, the left won't stop till we are at war with each other. The Liberty Tree might be ending up being watered. I hope not. Michael says, dump Common Core in the big teachers' unions. Kerry says, they're teaching Islam. Don't forget that. Patricia says bringing in all these undocumented immigrants uh, will certainly increase taxes because we have to support them and their families. Not according to the Democrats. Oh, no, there's no there's no support going to illegal immigrants. No, it's not. It's, it's against the law. We don't do that, they say, lying through their teeth, knowing that when you got an anchor baby, well, that anchor baby is not an illegal immigrant. That's a citizen, and that citizen needs to be taken care of. And so we're going to let those parents who are illegal immigrants take care of them by paying for their home and their food and their clothing and their shelter and everything else. Brent says, I can't stop laughing. I'm dying. He's teaching hip-hop. Yeah. I love that. I, re I really want to see that guy teach hip-hop. I want to see him get down and rap a little Kanye. Or, you know, some other great rappers like, uh, I don't know. I'd love to see him do, you know, get down with a little kid and play 
or I'll even let him do some vanilla ice. I mean, let's see him get down. I want to see it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, Sandra says she can't hear anything. Sorry. Joseph says, what are happening to history and square dancing, learning the past traditions that we used to have? Um, there, I got to tell you, I, I guess I'm old too. We were taught square dancing in my school when I was a kid. Heel and toe and a heel and toe and slide, slide, slide. Heel and toe and a heel and toe and slide, slide, slide. Clap right, clap left, clap both, clap knees, right elbow swing and a move to the left right now. Rusty, were you around back in Lincoln's days? Yes, I was back in Lincoln's day. No. But you're right. It taught us history and where we came from a little bit. And it wasn't all yo, 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 flippity flow on the hoe. Don't you know? Gotta go with the flow. Linda's saying go away. Michael says hello. Elijah says hashtag punch a communist. Well, we don't want to get physical. We don't ever want to take. See, that's the problem that the left does. They want to take freedom of speech and then take it too far and then it gets into the physical. By the way, whatever happened to uh, tearing down all of the statues and uh, Antifa? Where'd they go? That was a... You can't tell me that a movement that that's, that's that big and that powerful pops up for a month and then just disappears. I mean, the Tea Party thing, we did that for like five years, maybe more. That's because that was a real movement. And Tifa comes up and... Hey. Why don't they teach shop, mechanics, cooking, cleaning? They took it all away for hip-hop. They don't have shop or mechanics anymore? I guess not. Cooking, cleaning? Here's one thing I know. I know they're not teaching my daughter cooking and cleaning. I know that class has been skipped over in my daughter's school. Uh, Ken says, I want our middle class back. Rolly says, they teach square dancing here. Kids hate it. I, we all hated it, but I still remember it. Hip hop at the gym, maybe, but in school, they need to be teaching life skills, says Mary. Yep. Doug says, Songbird McCain is George Soros's puppet. Yep. By the way, my show is being sponsored by Virtual Shield. Now, if you want to have a safe environment when you get online, virtualshield.com is the place. It'll help you create your own private um, network that will make it so that they don't know what you're doing online. It's very easy to use. It's very inexpensive, and if you go to virtualshield.com slash Rusty, that's me, and type in my name, Rusty, in the promo code, I, you get the first month for free and 20% off. It's a great deal, and if you have a business, this is a must. So find out more, virtualshield.com, virtualshield.com, and it'll come back up. There it is, right there on the, on the screen. Go check that out. Uh, easiest to use virtual private network right here virtual shield okay pence said as teachers deserve a raise listen i saw another thing that said that our kids are at a uh i see that at maybe that on drudge a few minutes ago let me pull up drudge oh boy oh boy some more stuff going on Mueller warns he may subpoena Trump. Obstruction is the key focus. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, this, here we go. 65% of public school 8th graders are not proficient in reading. 67% are not proficient in math. Huh. Well, uh, teachers, maybe we'll give you a little bit more uh, money. If uh, you can actually uh, get the kids to uh, learn something. How about that? How about that? Is that fair? Okay. Let's take a look at this Mueller story real quick. 
it is important, even though it's uh, it is it is baloney what's going on. Here, here's what I think is going on. You know, I I will get to the story in a second. Here's everything I've heard. Oh, Trump did this wrong when he was in the transition. Oh, this guy did that wrong during the transition. Oh, we had to wiretap them because they were doing all these illegal things. Here's what I really believe. Tell me what you think. I believe there probably was some mistakes made. Yep, I do. There probably were some mistakes made. Donald Trump, and by the way, if you had just become president in a transition, you'd make mistakes. I'd make mistakes. You know who wouldn't make mistakes? Lawyers and politicians wouldn't make as many. Why? Because this is all they live for. The power, right? Now, I'm sure Barack Obama made a ton of mistakes and George W. Bush and and Clinton and everybody else, but we're going to go and try to hang Donald Trump because this class of people hate him. And it's because the little people liked him. And so they're going to try to get, well, did you ask? One of the ones that, you know, Comey was so upset about. I'd like you to, you know, be loyal to me, he says to Comey. And Comey goes, oh, I uh, 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 I can't do it. Well, a business guy would say that. Now, again, Trump may not have been, should maybe have not done that as president of the United States, but maybe he just didn't know. Is that not fair? Don't we give the guy a, how about, I mean, at that point, he wasn't even president yet. Don't you give the guy a little bit of a break? Can't he have a week of of trying to learn these things, making mistakes? Well, uh, I heard Donald Trump was thinking about firing somebody. Well, great. He was thinking about it. He didn't do it. This whole thing is just gotcha at every turn and every corner and gosh, it's got to stop. Do you agree with me? Do you think it's possible that Don, do you, what do you think of my theory that Donald Trump may have done some of these things? He just didn't know he was new. He was a regular guy. Thumbs up. If you think I might be right there or no, I don't think Donald Trump did anything wrong. Uh, Give me the frown. I'm very curious to your thoughts here as we do a quick little uh, instant poll. And let me read this story about what's going on right now. And I will watch your thumbs up. And by the way, um, if he made a mistake, did not knowing, I don't think he should be in trouble. You go, hey, Mr. President, you can't do that. And he goes, oh, okay, thanks. I didn't know. This whole thing, uh, the, a woman comes to uh, Donald Trump Jr.'s office and she says she's got some nasty stuff on Hillary. She comes in, they find out he doesn't, she doesn't have any nasty stuff, they kick her out. Oh, she was with the Russians. Donald Trump Jr. doesn't know. He's learning this stuff too. He's doing a campaign. He's not a professional politician. I'm not giving him a pass. I'm just being a human being here. And by the way, if Hillary Clinton... Actually, let's 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 not say Hillary Clinton. Let's say that um, Warren Buffett decided to run for president. And he was going to be a liberal, and he wins. And I don't know Warren. I'm not you know politically a fan of Warren Buffett. But if he made some of these same mistakes, you go, he didn't know. You tell them no, and then you move on. You don't try to ruin the presidency. I don't care who you are, right or wrong. Agree, hand, thumbs up, or or mean face. Am I right or wrong? All right, here's the latest news. President Donald Trump is angrily protesting a leak of questions the Justice Department's special counsel wants to ask him Contending the list shows anew that there was no crime or collusion with the Russians by his presidential campaign, but the questions suggest otherwise. The area's investigators want to focus on clearly on to include collusion and obstruction of justice. The questions, some 49 in all, were published by the New York Times, which said they were compiled by Trump's lawyers during negotiation with special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. Uh, the leak was so disgraceful 
Trump tweeted today. No questions on collusion. Collusion never existed. And that's the idea that his presidential campaign collaborated with Russia, who were trying to help him get the Oval Office. As for obstruction of the investigation after he took to office, he scoffed. It would be very hard to obstruct justice for a crime that never happened. There's still no word from the White House whether uh, Trump will sit down and answer those questions. Some takeaways from the list. Obstruction is a key focus. It's long been clear that Mueller is interested whether Trump may have obstructed justice. The question published by the Times show much show how much of a focus it is. Okay, now before I get all of that, there's a video that the Washington Post put out. Now they do a fairly good job of explaining it, but it is slanted. So I will try to I will stop when they're slanting the truth. Okay, so let's play a little bit of this from the Washington Post video here on the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion. The special counsel's investigation into Russian election interference moves closer to President Trump's inner circle. It's clear that the president isn't thrilled with its escalation. I didn't do anything for Russia. I've done nothing for Russia. So can President Trump make this all go away by firing Mueller? Short answer, no. The special counsel can only be removed by the attorney general or acting attorney general specifically for misconduct, dereliction of duty, incapacity, conflict of interest. All right, let's stop right there. I want to stop it right there. Because if you ask me, I think Mueller has committed misconduct. He certainly has a conflict of interest because of his good buddy, uh, James Comey. And the other good cause is, is he's not doing the job that he was set up to do. He was supposed to look at collusion With Russia. Now he's going after all these other people for other things. So misconduct, yes. Incapacity, no. Dereliction of duty, yes. Conflict of interest, yes. For other good cause, yes. So it looks to me four out of five. Pretty good list of reasons why he should be uh, taken off the case and fired. What do you think? Comment right here. Or for other good cause. In other words, to get rid of Mueller, Trump could do two things. Rescind or completely ignore that regulation or instruct Justice Department officials to fire Mueller for him. We've seen this kind of crisis before. During the Saturday Night Massacre in 1973, when President Richard Nixon instructed the Watergate Watergate. Special Prosecutor Archibald Cox to be fired. So say Trump ignores or rescinds existing regulations and directly fires Mueller. It would probably spark a court battle. If, and that's a big if, Trump's action survives a legal challenge, Mueller is out. Now let's say Trump decides to ask Justice Department leadership to do his bidding and fire Mueller. Mm -hmm. This is what it would look like. Attorney General Jeff Sessions recused himself from the Russia investigation. That makes Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein the acting attorney general for purposes of the investigation. So Trump would have to go to Rosenstein and ask for one of three things. One, fire Mueller under the existing regulations, asserting good cause. Two, amend the regulation to do away with the good cause requirement and then fire Mueller. Three, get rid of the regulation altogether, firing Mueller and scrapping the office of the special counsel. Rosenstein has promised Congress he'd only fire Mueller if genuine good cause was found. Well, there so is. if faced with a presidential ultimatum, the deputy attorney general could either resign or be fired himself. Trump would continue to burn through the Justice Department's line of succession until he reaches someone who- Okay. Now, I don't know who that dude is that's talking from the Washington Post. I don't think he's very good, number one. But number two, it's very slanted. Oh, you know, Trump's got to do something illegal. Trump's got to bend the rules. He's got to break the rules. He's got to get rid of the rules. No. Mueller's not doing the job. We got four out of five. And other people are going, uh, looks like five out of five to me. That Mueller is um, every bit in line of getting fired. Now, this is not a fair or honorable um, attack. This is not a true investigation. This is just a an attempted coup d'etat. This is just an attempt to remove Donald Trump as president of the United States. I don't think anybody really, really believes now that Trump had Russia uh, do these things. We do know that you know the Clintons got money from Russia, and we do know about the Hillary emails. Those aren't even being talked about. Well, she didn't even win, so why do you care? We care because, dumbass, we don't want people at the highest levels of our government being able to profit 
from having those jobs. And this whole idea, well, Obama, he didn't know nothing. He was too cool. No, the only thing he didn't know was that Trump was going to win. And these people cannot handle it. And you would have known none of this. This would have gone away. This would have gone away like the third Brady Bunch special, never to be heard of again, if Hillary had won. But we are exposing the swamp as Trump has said, Mr. President. We are seeing the dark, nasty underbelly of our government at work, and it's a disgrace. Who is willing to carry out his orders. So does cutting Mueller out of the picture mean the end of Mueller's investigation? No. If Mueller were to be fired while the office of the special counsel remained intact, that office could continue the investigation without him. If Trump got rid of the special counsel's office, the Justice Department might pick up where the office left off. Also, this wouldn't end the FBI's separate pre-existing investigation into Russian hacking launched before Mueller's appointment. Theoretically, President Trump could order the Justice Department to drop those investigations entirely, but that would be even more explosive than firing Mueller. Either way, it could open him up to the possibility of impeachment. And even if Trump were to order to end the investigation and pardon those involved, Presidential pardons don't extend to state crimes. Bottom line, firing special counsel Robert Mueller is at best a short-term solution to a long-term problem for President yeah. Trump. Yeah, we're going to we're going he's going to be impeached. That's what the goal is. Although here's what I say. Do it. Do it. Impeach him. Do it. Do I dare I double dog dare you, dumbasses. Do it. Rep- Democrats, do it. We made that silly mistake with Bill Clinton and made him more powerful. It was like uh, uh, killing Obi-Wan Kenobi by uh, when uh, Vader killed him. Strike me down, I will become more powerful than you can ever imagine. Which is what happened to the sexual deviant rapist Bill Clinton. See, here's what I believe. I believe that the American people are generally fair-minded. Democrats and Republicans. We really want to be fair as a nation. And I think that the majority of the people are not brainwashed by this media. And I think that if the Democrats push and push and push like they want to, what's going to happen is that uh, they're going to push it too far and the American people are going to go, yeah, we're we're not going that far. And it will ensure Trump getting us reelected. That's what I think. What do you think? Thumbs up. Do you agree with me? Yes. Thumbs ups. If you disagree, do the frowny face. I'm curious what you think. By the way, have you shared the video yet today? Share, 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 share the video. Share, 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 share the video. Share, 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 share the video. Share that video now. Yeah. Jazz hands. <clears throat> Brace, Brace says, I agree, Mueller needs to go. Obama should have been arrested for treason, says Cheryl. And Nett says, trying to overthrow the government's tyranny. Our president is the most powerful man. Most of the people he elected, he has the right to arrest anyone involved and have our military back us. Do, 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 do. Carol says, as a veteran, I'm ready to help take back our country from these commie fools. My oath has no expiration date. Darlene says, the liberals are normalizing bullying. You're very right on that one. Um, I was trying to get Kelly uh, Townsend on the show today. I couldn't get her. Um, Kelly Townsend is a um, Arizona State Representative. Actually, she is the... Yeah, I can't find it. Anyway, she's the uh, the House Majority Whip. And she's sharp as a whip. I've never met her. I talked to her on the phone, though, today for the first time. And they keyed her car just yesterday, I guess. 
She's been getting death threats. They're telling her to go kill herself. They're publishing her cell phone number. All kinds of nasty things. Yes, it, what's the word for that? Um, yes, that's bullying. Bullying. Mm-hmm. Kara says, I want someone in Congress to do what John Lewis did constantly during the Benghazi investigation. Bring up how much taxpayer money is being spent on this constant witch hunt. Except he was a liar, wasn't he? No. Carol, thank you for your service. Yes. Jeffrey says it takes 67 votes in the Senate to remove a president. Yeah, good luck. I say do it. Impeach him. Do it. Make him more powerful. All right. Uh, Another guy in trouble. More proof again today that you cannot have any kind of differing opinion. Me, happened to me today in Costco when I made the joke that uh, they want to put us in the red for Ed. And the disgusted, high-minded looks that I got. How dare you not support the teachers? I support teachers. Especially I support good teachers. I don't support these lousy teachers, and I don't support them bankrupting our state for communist uh, ideals. Okay? Kanye West has come out and said... He supported Donald Trump. And because of that, oh my gosh, he needs to go into a mental institution. He was on, he went to TMZ today and uh, got in a little little argument. Uh, Let me share this with you here on the Rusty Embry's Rebellion. People necessarily understand what happened last week with the great America, uh, make America America great again. I understand why you like Trump. What are you trying to do with the message you're sending? Well, it was really just my subconscious it was a feeling I had, you know, like people were taught how to think, we're taught how to feel. We don't know how to think for ourselves. We don't know how to feel for ourselves. People say feel free, but they don't really want us to feel free. And uh, I felt a freedom in, first of all, just doing something that everybody tells you not to do. I just love Trump. That's my boy. <laughs> like, uh, you know, it's like so many rappers, you'll look at a video of Snoop Dogg loving Trump, but then he get in the office and I don't love him. Like, Trump is one of rap's favorite people, no, right? But we, we, we talk about <laughs> yeah. this, okay. before Let's, he was elected president. Yeah, let's stop that right there. Did you know that? I mean, l- l- you know, let, let's, let's go back in time just a couple of uh, years. Again, before Donald Trump was president, Hollywood loved him. That's how much sheeple they are. Now they want, Snoop Dogg had him in a video. I didn't know that. And now um, when, when he got in office, Snoop Dogg had a video killing him. Yeah, I, listen, I'm not a huge Kanye West fan, and I think he's a little nuts. And this whole thing about uh, he's the greatest artist of all time, I think is just uh, uh, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But at least he's being intellectually honest here. I love Trump. Uh, the rappers love Trump. And then all of a sudden, uh, he gets in office and we all have to hate him? There's something wrong with that. And it's this groupthink, this you've got to do what the liberal George Soros paid for talking points say, or your life must be destroyed. How is this good for our republic? All right, I'm going to go back. Let's let's watch... uh... A little more with the Kanye man here on the Rusty Embry's Rebellion. Dog, loving Trump, but then he get in the office and I don't love him. Like, Trump is one of rap's favorite people, no, right? But we, we, we talk about <laughs> yeah. this, that before he was yeah. elected president, people yeah. in hip-hop, they, it, was, it was an in thing to put Donald Trump yeah. in your rhyme somewhere. Yeah. And by the way, right. I am in hip-hop, but I'm not just in hip-hop. I'm a black person, a black community, but I'm not just that. I feel like one thing is people try to minimize me to artists, hip hop, uh, black community. Yeah, I'm always gonna represent that, but I also represent the world. When you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. <laughs> like, oopsie. You was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? You know, like, it's like we're, we're mentally in prison. I like the word prison because slavery goes to, to. Okay, that and right there, that's the headline. It's not going to be, you know, we all in hip hop like Donald Trump. The headline is uh, slavery was a choice for 400 years. I never said that Kanye was a political 
scientist, right? I, n- I never said, hey, everybody, let's listen to Kanye for what we should do in our country. All I've said was he was intellectually honest, and now he's gotten himself all tied up. And now, watch, now the, the lefties at TMZ are going to go for it. They're going to dis. And again, you watch. Not only will Kanye be shunned, they will try to make it so that not only he will be punished, but he will not be able to make a living anymore. That will be their goal. You watch. Too direct to the uh, idea of blacks. It's like slavery, Holocaust, Holocaust Jews, uh, slavery is blacks. So prison is something that unites us as one race, blacks and whites being one race, uh, that we're one, we're, we're, we're the human race. Do you feel that I'm feeling, do, do you feel that I'm being free and I'm thinking free? I, I, actually, I actually don't think you're thinking anything. I think... All right, we, I got to stop it right there. We'll come back to this. Now, this guy is a great example of a Hollywood follower. Okay, he works for TMZ. He's in the in crowd. He decides what's cool and what's not cool. And because Kanye West has supported Donald Trump, he ain't thinking at all. So let's continue with what this guy has to say. What you're doing right now is actually the absence of thought and the reason why I feel like that is because, because Kanye, Kanye, you're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to believe whatever you want. But there is fact and real world, real life consequence behind everything that you just said. And while you are making music and being an artist and living the life that you've earned by being a genius, the rest of us in society have to deal with these threats to our lives. Okay, let's stop right there. And I want to know, what threat to his life has Donald Trump caused? Has it been the explosion of employment in the black community? Has it been the encouragement of work over welfare? I read something today that before Johnson's Great Society, at black women, African American women, were the most likely group to be married with children, the least likely to have children out of wedlock. After the Great Society, children out of wedlock uh, in the black community is 78% and up according to that study, and I could be wrong, I'm quoting off the top of my head here, but it is incredibly high. That wasn't Donald Trump. That wasn't Republicans. That was Democrats. So again, what is this thing that you're living through here, sir, that makes it so that the world is so horrible because of Donald Trump? Let's continue. We have to deal with the marginalization that has come from the 400 years of slavery that you said for our people was a choice. Frankly, I'm disappointed, I'm appalled, and brother, I am unbelievably hurt by the fact that you have morphed Hold into on. some. Everything was emotional. Let me take that back. Listen to what he said. Every bit of his problems were emotionally based because that's what liberals are. It's all based in emotion. There's not a lot of reason and logic. It's emotion. Here we go. I'll do it again come from the 400 years of slavery that you said for our people was a choice. Frankly, I'm disappointed, I'm appalled, and brother, I am unbelievably hurt by the fact that you have morphed into something, to me, that's not real. Bro, you got to be responsible, man. Bro, I'm sorry I hurt you. You got to be responsible. I'm sorry I hurt you, bro. Bro, your voice is too big. You got to... Okay, that was uh, that was the deal at TMZ today. Uh, Kanye had it until the whole slavery thing. Oopsie, not not good. He had it. You had it, Kanye. You were you were on a roll. You were doing good. Rolly says, "Hurry, help him get his crayons and coloring books." Darlene says he got triggered. Kara says, I thanked him for keeping an open mind and thinking for himself. 
Cheryl says, but they praised Obama that was changing the world, our world to new world order. Yeah. By the way, um, differences between Obama and Trump. Obama got the Nobel Peace Prize in his first year for not doing anything. Donald Trump has done what for peace? A lot. Iran, North Korea, standing up to these bullies, Syria, ISIS. And it's a big yawn. Big yawn. Let's see here. Oh, Martin thinks that was a setup for a cameras. Okay. Shirley says this hate is going out of control. We are allowed to have our own individual beliefs, likes, and dislikes. I agree. Unfortunately, that's not what the left is uh, talking about at all. If you don't agree with them, you deserve nothing but to be shut down. Okay. Anything else? Well, I do want to remind you to please uh, do me a big favor, and that is follow me on the Hear Me Out app. Uh, all you do is download it to your phone, and it's very simple. And, oh, let's see. Kelly Townsend has a video going on. I wonder what she's doing. Hold on. Kelly Townsend is uh, that congresswoman, our representative. Here we go. Let's see if she's got a video up. She's usually awesome. And she is right now, according to what was on my phone, here we go, purple for parents meeting. These are supposed to be, uh, we may have missed it. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, live video has been paused. Darn it. I wanted to see what was going on there. Can I re? Let's see if we can get it from the beginning, if that's possible. So they got parents there in Arizona, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Not much there. All right. Uh, hopefully we will have Kelly Townsend on uh, tomorrow if I can get her. Uh, Kara says, share the video. Would you please share the video? Give me some thumbs ups and some hearts right now as we go out. Thumbs ups and hearts and shares. Do that right now. Also, again, please follow me on the Hear Me Out app. Um, they are a great sponsor and we need their sponsorship. It's so important that you follow me on the Hear Me Out app or else I can't keep doing this. The other great sponsor and this one, another important product for you is Virtual Shield. And Virtual Shield will help you be able to get on the web and not let me pull here we go. And not just you so you can protect your privacy. Man, it's important. Protect your your information from big data and big brother right now. Don't fall victim to companies like AT&T and Comcast and Spectrum Charter and Verizon. They control, they collect, they sell your online browsing history. Nobody can log or track your browsing history. If you have Virtual Shield, reclaim your privacy today. Go to virtualshield.com slash rusty. That's me. You'll get a great discount and you'll be glad you did. Okay, go do that if you would. The app, Hear Me Out app, doesn't cost anything, but if something happens and I get taken off the air, we can communicate. Plus, it's like Twitter, but you use audio and it's fun. You can do that. So, please download that app. Hear Me Out on the Apple Store or your Android Store. That's it. Thank you so much for hanging out. May God bless you and may God bless America. By the way, if you've ever wanted to write your own book, tomorrow I'm going to have a friend on who teaches people how to write books. And maybe you could do it. And, and I'm going to be in Texas, in Dallas, in a few days, uh, going to a seminar with him. So if you're in the uh, Dallas or Texas area, Oklahoma, maybe you can come down and hang out with us. So we'll have that information tomorrow. May God bless you, and may God bless America. My name is Rusty Humphreys, and this is the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion. Thanks for being here tonight.